Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to be making a svichkova dinner. Uh, for translation, it's sauerbraten or tenderloin of beef with cream sauce. Um, what you need is, usually I use eye of round, but today I'm using bottom round tenderloin, so we'll see how that works out. And need some bacon, onion, carrots. I'm using celery root. You can use celery if you prefer. Parsnip. Um, for the spices, you need salt. We're gonna use peppercorns. There's five peppercorns and two allspice, and then two bay leaves. And then for the gravy, we're gonna add sour cream to the drippings and some flour. So let's get started. Like this in bigger pieces, and now I'm gonna try to put them into the meat. So all I do is cut like a slit in there, and then I'm gonna take one of one of the pieces here. I'm taking two because it should have been a little bit wider, but and then you just push it in there with your finger. Let it all the way in there. And we'll just do it wherever. Just to get some in there. Adds the flavor to the meat. It looks kind of cool too when you slice the meat and you have your little pieces of bacon. A little time consuming, but it's worth it for the flavor. I'm just gonna continue doing that all on all sides of the meat. So I cleaned the carrots, the parsnip, and the celery. Cleaned it all up. And now I'm just gonna rough chop it in big pieces because we don't need to make them in small pieces. But I am gonna cut up the onion into small pieces. So those are our vegetables. So on this pan here, we're gonna break down the butter and some bacon. We're gonna fry the onion in this. So we're just gonna, we don't wanna burn it, so we're just gonna do it on low for now until it melts a little bit. And then we're gonna add the onion to it. Now while I'm cooking this down, I'm gonna preheat my oven to 325. And we're gonna be cooking the roast in a roaster in the oven. Just roast the meat on all sides, get it nice and brown, pick up the bacon, and just rotate each side for about two to three minutes or so. Now I'm going to turn down the heat and I'm going to transfer the roast to my roasting pan. Remove this bacon. Now I'm going to fry the onions in here, get them cooked down. And after a couple of minutes, I'm going to add the vegetables in here. I'm going to add a little bit more butter to this also. I just added a little bit more butter, not too much. I'm going to turn the heat back up a little bit and get the onions roasted. Now I'm going to add the vegetables, the carrots, parsnip, and celery. Just kind of let that all roast in here for a little bit. Doesn't need to get too soft because it's still going to go into the oven for a couple hours. We just want to get some of that flavor out of it. Now I'm going to add the spices, the two bay leaves. We have the five peppercorns and the two allspice. You want to remember the quantity that you put in there for the pepper, peppercorns and the allspice because you want to pull them out. Same with the babies. And then just a pinch of thyme. 
maybe a quarter teaspoon, and then some salt. I don't put too much in there because the bacon's got a lot of salt on it, so. I'm going to add some water and let it cook it down a little bit before I add the water in. I would say in all about 10 minutes I'm cooking this. Okay, so I'm going to add some hot water, actually boiling water, we're going to add in to it. A cup of water or so. And then all this we're going to pour on top of our roast. Let it cook for a couple hours in the oven for 325. So we're going to put this in the oven for, on 325 for a couple hours and we're going to have it covered up and every, I don't know, I would wait for the first hour, open it up, make sure there's enough water, liquid on the bottom. If not, add more water, and you want to baste it every once in a while. I was having to cook it for about three and a half hours. Um, it was a large piece of meat, so it took a little bit longer to cook. So now we're gonna take all the juice out, and we're gonna strain it. And then the vegetables, we're gonna mash them up and then add it back to the gravy. Now I need to also scoop out those herbs we talked about. There's one. I didn't find all the spices, the peppercorns and the allspice. And there's still one more bay leaf, but I'm gonna drain it into the strainer here and then we'll be able to find it. So I took all the meat and the vegetables out. So all I have left is this. sour cream and some flour. And mix the sour cream and flour together and add it into here. Now I just took a heaping spoon, tablespoon of flour, add about, about a cup of sour cream to it. And then mix it up so good. A little bit more in there. You can always add some milk to it also or some cream. It's too thick. Easier with a whisk. That's what I'm gonna do when I put it. 
it in my gravy. Make sure you don't have you don't have any clumps. blender I'm gonna just blend it up real quick to get all the pieces to extra chunks of the vegetables and make sure they're even smaller. Okay. Garnish it. Finished product of our sweet chocolate sour button. Come on, man. Dollar. Cranberry sauce, we just use store bought jar of cranberry sauce, but you can use any kind you want, homemade, whatever, your choice. And a little bit of whipped cream. And there's our finished product. So delicious. I hope you guys give this a try. Let me know what you think and enjoy. Thanks for watching.